Hey everyone, I'm Jeanette from Hunter and today we're reviewing the Hunter leads page. So here on the leads page is where you're going to find all the leads that you've saved directly from within Hunter. And keep in mind, leads is a shared resource across your team members. So all team members will have access to the leads page. Okay, so let's first review how you save a lead. So we're going to review the domain search and do a quick search here. And in the results, you see that there's the option to save as lead. So if you click here, this is going to save the information into your leads. Keep in mind, before you click save as lead, you'll want to select the list of where it will be saved. So we have a menu here at the bottom left corner. And from here, you can select a list of where it will be saved. Also keep in mind, if you see the saved icon here, that means it's already been saved in your leads. All right, now let's review a bulk file. For example, once you've processed an email finder bulk, you're going to have the option to import. So we'll select import. And from here, you can select a destination list of where the leads will be saved. And you can select import. Now back to the leads page, you can do a couple of manual actions to import a lead. So we'll click on the menu here, select import leads. And if you have a CSV or text file, you can upload that here. Now back to the leads page and in the same menu, you can select create a new lead. And here you have the option to manually enter in all the information. Okay. Now one other way to just keep note of, we're not going to review it in depth today, but you can actually connect your CRM. So if we take a look here at the left-hand side, you can see integrations. Here you can connect your Salesforce account, also Zoho. Um, and if you have other questions about it, I highly recommend checking out our help center. There we have full documentation on how you can connect your CRM. Okay, so from here, let's review the different actions that you can take from the leads page and we'll visit the actions menu. And as we can see, there is the option to verify the leads. You can add the leads to a campaign, create a new campaign, as well as export leads to a CSV file. Now, if you select a few as an example and visit the actions menu again, you'll see that it's changed slightly and now you have the option to delete. From here, you're also able to filter this view. So let's say you would like to filter by company and we're gonna go with Hunter. And now we have only the leads associated with the company Hunter and you can add multiple filters. And we'll just select the X to clear that filter. Next, you can change up the view here by selecting different columns. So let's say we're gonna remove the Twitter column but we would like to view the website. So we'll select update. And now you can see that we have a column that has the website of the lead. Now within the individual leads, there's a few actions that we can take. So we're gonna take this lead as an example. So if we click on the eye, this is actually gonna open the view so we can review the full details of this lead. So from the top up, we're able to see the email address this means it has already been verified. We also see this replied status. This means the lead has entered a campaign at one point and the status of that campaign was they replied to it. Below this, there is the option to edit. You can also directly send an email. And then in this menu, you can actually move this lead to another list and you can actually review the history of the different edits done to this lead. Now below this, we see the profile. We also see notes. In this case, there isn't a note saved, but that will be here as well. You can also see the different campaigns that this lead has been added to, as well as the recent activity that they've done on those campaigns. Okay. Now there is the pencil option, which simply means you can directly edit the lead. And finally, in this menu here, 
you can directly send an email or delete the lead. Okay, so that is an overview of some of the options that you can take here. Actually, there's one more. If you see this verification status column, you'll notice that there is the option to verify an email address directly from this page in real time. Okay, now let's review how you can organize your leads into lists. So all your lists are saved here on the left-hand side. You can see I have some favorited and I also have all my lists here. So I have a filter on. Right now I'm filtering by team member. We can clear that. And then we can also search by name. So let's say I want to view my small businesses list. We can click here and that list will be pulled up here. Now at the top here, there's a few options we can take. You can rename the list. You can merge this list with another list as well as view the history of the edits done to this list. And then of course, delete it. Next to this, you see there is a star. This means this is added to my favorites. If I click on it, it'll remove it from my favorites. Or if I click on it again, it will add to my favorites. This way, if you have a lot of lists and you have a few that you're working on or that are important, I recommend utilizing this so you have a saved list at the top, easy to access. And here you can see that it was created by this team member. Now in the actions, they're similar to what we saw on the all leads page, as well as the filtering options and the display columns. Now let's view all lists. And from here, you can easily filter by team member. And you can even add a new list. So to add a new list, you'll want to enter the name and create the list here. An easy option as well to create a new list is directly from the left hand side. You can select the plus button to create a new list. Okay, so that is the overview of your leads page. In case you have other questions, I highly recommend checking out our help center. We have full documentation on how to add leads and manage them as well. However, if you have additional questions, feel free to reach out to our support team. We're always available through the chat on the website, or you can email us at contact at hunter.io.